They always by the Galleria, man. They are. They know. They ain't. They are. They know what they're doing. Yeah. I was about they, to give this one lady some money one day until she her phone rang in her purse. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, you good?" Bro, I, he said, "Hell no!" Yeah, I was like, "Oh, you good?" <laughs> See, I'm gonna type out a question, uh, man. Followed, what you doing with the phone? A couple like, of, uh, and it looked people. like an iPhone. It was like a a smartphone. Oh, yeah, no, we had to upgrade a couple of homeless people that went to like nice houses in Maryland. That pissed me off. Two of them pissed me off. I'm not gonna lie. There's some like dude. That's kind of weird though. Like, why would you be doing all because that? Because people to like to nice panhandle house. to get their money. Uh, yeah. One dude, he um, you could be doing had his motorcycle. You probably would have seen. You probably seen him at least once. He was over there. He's over there by AMC. 30. He used to be over there by AMC Thirty off of uh, Forty Five, mm-hmm. and uh, by Car by that Carmax in Forty Five. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, um, the old spot. I get out. I get out of Carmax. Cause that's when I used to work at Carmax. Like I do the dents there, and I came out, and then dude had like his uh, motorcycle like further down. He's like, I need gas. He have a gas tank thing, and I'd be like, All right, cool. Here, take three dollars or whatever. Whatever I got on me. I see him the next day. He moved over to the other side. I need gas. Wow. I was like, no, you fucking didn't. Yes, <laughs> no, you didn't. So I, 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 I rolled the window down. I was like, bitch, get your ass Wrong off the side ass. of the street. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody Bro. know you lie. Like, I cussed him. I went off on his the ass. First so time I ever gave money. He pissed me off. Oh. This is like, I think, in 2012. Like, I just got uh, that car that Mazda I had. Mm-hmm. And I was picking up uh, Drew from his old place. I'm like, man, this dude, he's standing out the gas station. I'm like, man, I'm gonna give him. I gave him a ten, thinking like, man, I did a good thing and stuff. I seen this man just go back into the store and buy a beer, and I'm like, bro, and just like, man, you know what he was about to do? I got on the homeless man. He needed like, that beer, man. Man, I was like, bro, I get you buying beer with that man. I gave you ten dollars. He's like, man, brother, it's hot out here. I'm like, man, you should have got anything from that. You got so a beer. So you grab a beer to dehydrate yourself. <laughs> That's what I was more it's like, like just on some like. I was an asshole. I'm like, bro, why are you going? But you grab a beer to dehydrate. Like, I'm contributing yourself. to your poor, your downfall, man. Mm-hmm. Like that don't help you in the heat, sir. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if don't. you know this or not. He know he just want to. It's gonna help him get off of it mentally. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause he over there withdraw, going through withdrawals. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. You restarted it. I was about to say, did we start already? Mm-hmm. We did. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, 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 oh off the good. dome. Look at that. Yeah. So y'all just seen this. Oh, well, we're here. Be so straightforward, but okay. Anywho, y'all, y'all just seen some extra talking. Mm-hmm. Uh, but now, nah, um, welcome back, man. We got episode fifty-six here. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. ITC gang in this thing, yeah. chilling, talking about um our good ser- uh services that we do for people. Yep. Um. <clears throat> Not nothing that we usually talk about, you know, because yeah. right. you know we're not the people that be like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Exactly. Let me record. Let me, get the, let me get yeah. It. yeah. Let me give him five dollars. Yeah. Right. I don't. I don't really <laughs> like that vibe. I mean, in other ways, like when you're trying to raise awareness for some certain, certain yeah. things, it's cool. But when I feel like you're trying to like really, really catch a moment, yeah, I, it's not genuine no more. I, I, I'm not it's a fan not. of the clout. The clout. Uh, yeah. Charity. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm not a fan of that at all. Look but at me. I'm doing something I just good. Gave this man, right. Like, nah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Yeah, do what you can out here, man. Here you go. Hold on. He, it's just like, damn, how you know they Yo, want to be on camera? Back at the camera. Yeah. yeah. But how you know they want to be on camera like that? Exactly. That doesn't seem like, genuine. Yeah. But, hey, you know what? It's, it's a lot going on, man. Uh, Before we get into some of the bigger news, you know what I'm saying? Things and music that we are waiting to hear. Yes, we are recording this before we listen <laughs> uh, to what we're about to listen to. What did y'all feel about Dunder? Honest opinions. I know we talked about it on the, the video. I'm but still sticking with my rating. Steve. Like a 7. 7.8 seven out of 10. 7. So I just Seven, listened nine, to ten. it today. Okay. Um, I waited for the hype train to calm down because I don't like Kanye stands. They annoy Good me. Good call. Nice. Um, so I listened to it today with clear head, and I love the hell out of that album. I'm not gonna mm. lie to you. It's, a, it's not a um, bad album. Like I listened to it with the the thought that it was gonna be trash. Like yay, I hated that album with all my heart. Mm. I'm not gonna say trash. Sorry, sorry, not trash because I had a whole conversation. Oh, with it was coming about, about trash. <laughs> stands everywhere. I'm not gonna say trash. I I definitely didn't like it at all though, mm-hmm. but um, yeah. I like somebody had a conversation with me uh, on Twitter. He was like, "How can it be trash if you have good uh, good production on it?" Or blah blah blah. And and he was like, "But if the rap and blah blah blah, everything else is trash, but the production is good, it can't be trash because you like something on it." I was like, "Well, if you use that definition, I'll let you make it, and I'll not <laughs> call it trash. I'll just call it bad." Mm-hmm. So it or, was a bad album, or just not for me. 
Exactly. Because it's always going to be, hey, somebody <laughs> said today we need to stop the Playboy Cardi slander. Come um, on now, they said he was, they said he was carrying the game. If y'all seen my story on Instagram, that's terrifying. That or people Twitter, say that. the I fact don't that you think he's said. carrying the game, wow. Okay, no, bro, I don't know bro. what game he's carrying yeah. besides beats. Right. All I know is even beats, his so. fans got on him for that horrible <laughs> album. So yeah, his, right. Yeah, his, his <laughs> own fans got on him for waiting for like two plus years exactly. for a subpar to album to drop that shit. Yep. There's some you know solid tracks on there, but right, it's only like a couple. You know, it like people were expecting more. So, uh, and granted, you know, this album, uh, Kanye's album, the, the one that dropped, don't know if he, you know, dropped it or if Universal dropped it. Who yeah. fucking knows at this point? But it's doing numbers and it's solid. This exactly. is, yeah. I give me, it an eight. I give this a seven out of 10. Um, I don't know if you guys know this YouTuber called Anthony Fant, uh, I think it's Fanto. Anthony Fanto, something like Is that. He's like he, a top reviewer. Yeah, he does yeah. music, you know what I'm saying? And I've been following him for many, many years. Mm. And he's been, you know, very critical of Kanye's work or whatnot. But even him, he was like, you know, outside of the the few misses and the mm-hmm. oh so awful bars sometimes from Kanye, right. uh, production was on point and uh, he gave it even a seven out of ten. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Solid. he and it's one of those things where it's like he can put aside, you know, maybe his distaste in his other discography. Yeah. But mm-hmm. if it's something good and, you know, something <laughs> worth listening to, I think he went in like a lot of people, like not believing the hype, expecting it to, you know, kind of mm-hmm. be what we had, you know, in the uh, previous albums. But it was like, oh, this is a, pre- a pleasant surprise. Uh, one of the favorite tracks he's he mentioned is one of my favorite tracks off on there off the grid. I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm-hmm. I was that just shit. Go I was just about hard, to talk bro. about that. Even, so my uh, coworker, he's from New York, so he knows all these New York mm-hmm. artists on there. Mm-hmm. So Fabio like, did I was his like, thing, bro. I know this guy's name. I've heard him on other stuff, and I was like, and I love the way he changed the beat specifically for yeah, him Fabio to Gordon. eat. This goddamn Bro. beat, yeah, no. that's Fabio, the best. I think I've that's the best. Same, same. A lot of like, people are saying that. That that's damn the best track Fabio. was so hard, so Ooh, perfect yep. to me. I was like, agree, 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 agree. Get that. I was, I was like, like did he just change that bitch to a but drill I mean, beat? But to be honest with you, the only I, I have two feelings towards it. I feel like it's a solid album. Yeah, to be an album, mm-hmm. if we don't put a name on it. But to say a Kanye album, I don't know. I just feel like it's yeah, more it's collaborations. And it didn't give me him. It's it, like a DJ sure. Khaled like, type. Uh, I, can, I can honestly say if you put the album out there, it's a solid album. It's cool. Oh, yeah. But if I say if it's, it's a Kanye album, I'm going to be like, that's why I got to take some points down because it's like, that's I didn't said. like the mm-hmm. album for you mainly. Yeah. See, I graded it on an aspect of if I'm comparing it to other people and he, I'm not thinking, hey, this is Kanye dropping this album. If it's just a regular album and it's not Kanye dropping it, I'm going to give it a higher grade by default because right. I'm not holding it up to that pedestal that, you know, Kanye or Drake. So right. I get that, like, by default because I, I was doing that. I was like, mm-hmm. if I were go with, like, if it was a Kanye album in general, I would probably give it a six. Yeah. But if I'm going as just as an album as itself. As a whole. As a whole. I give it an eight because I like I like the way it was put together. I like the flow of it. Mm-hmm. It's a good vibe to it. Good and I, I, I'm a big fan of like gospel rap in general because yeah. I listen mm-hmm. to like Lecrae, um, Triple I listen to a lot yeah. of that stuff yeah. in general. So like when I heard that, I was like, I like the fact that he went that route. That's and, definitely, a and vibe. it also didn't just sound like one of those albums. Right. It had yeah. the vibe of like a regular hip hop album. Twenty four no. hours. Yep. So it was it was dope. It was hella dope. I like how he yeah. mixed that up. And then I like how he, he gave everyone their flowers while they were like that's how Thanks. I felt. I felt like it was more so let me give y'all your shine type of thing. Not it's not about me in this. I don't and know what they're that's going the with I the gave. pop smoke yeah. track though, man. I'm like, bro, I don't know it's what that's with but that that's one. the thing too, is like a lot of the I don't know. If if they were, it's a lot of fluff yeah. tracks on there that mm-hmm. if they would have just took off I think it would have just been it's definitely higher. super long yeah, yeah. No, definitely for long. no reason I think way some too many yeah. songs yeah like some of the tracks were like unnecessarily long and then some of them were just like man was this an accident you know what I'm saying that's why I can't give it an A on production cause it was like yeah you didn't mean to put this out like the whole right. Pop Smoke track was like it sounded like a recorded version of yeah. the uh, actual track mm-hmm. and I'm just like Man, it's kind of gay. They would have had the actual track from yeah. the Pop Smoke album on that album. That would have been. Boy. Nigga, we made it. Nah, man. And that would have been my man. first time hearing it because yep. I didn't even listen to the Pop Smoke album. Mm-hmm. Honestly, because people. They had like, issues on that I didn't have time, but mm-hmm. people kind of, you know, turned me off of it just from checking it out anyway. Yeah. It was like one of them things where, oh, you don't have to, if you don't have to rush. I'm I'm planning on checking out Polo G's album. <sighs> I hear his album is hard. Yeah. 
And you know I'm a Polo G man. Yes. yes. So it's, I don't know if we're gonna throw that. It's very nice. I don't so. know if we're gonna throw that in the shuffle of album reactions or not. But mm-hmm. I'm gonna see, and if not, I'm gonna just go ahead and you it's know a rock out to it. Um, th- like like you said with the, the with it being long and like fluff, it definitely has that. That's what actually dropped the points for me. If I'm mm-hmm. going, like I said, if I'm going off a of straight Kanye, I'm going to give it a six to a seven. Yeah. It'll probably be around right. the range y'all gave it. Mm-hmm. If I'm going off of just it being an album, I give it an eight. And the reason why I even lost those points is because of how long it is. Yeah. And that mm-hmm. fluff in there. Because what J. Cole did to me was, was that man, was perfect, that was like mm-hmm. a punch because in the mouth and that's it. It was like, here, enjoy out. this. Mm-hmm. Okay, I was like, right. "Well, I will enjoy it." With literally no skips, right. like you literally can just put that thing on and just, and just let, let it, it play ring until the last track. Man. I don't give mm-hmm. albums ten out of ten, not even J Cole albums, because I'm not a big fan of, of a lot of his earlier albums. Personally, like I'm, I don't like J Cole's, per- and that's like my favorite. That is my favorite artist. Mm. So it's like I don't give him ten out of tens, even on Born like, Center has some. Story. Born Center has Born some. Born Center, uh, not a ten out of ten. Some, some bangers on there. It did, yeah. but not a ten out of ten. I gotta hear it nowadays. Off season, I actually listened to it like two days ago. Really, off season, ten out of ten for me because of how he. It was just like mm-hmm. it was a masterpiece to yep. me. Like it was everything was just flowing perfect. Forest Hill Drive is like his best album. Yeah, I think for me that was a great album. My best album. To be honest, that was a great album. It was just like. Haymaker after mm-hmm. Haymaker after I Haymaker. think that was another 10 out of 10 to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> so, yep. Forrest Hill was just like, I'm, I remember like, I'll never forget, bro, when I first heard it and it dropped. Uh, mm-hmm. We were driving or coming from somewhere and we was getting some Chick-fil-A before we went home. And then that's when I, ding, 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 and then you, uh, first things first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. Mm-hmm. And I was just like. Real, you the only father that ever ever knew? I was like, Man. hold on. Mm-hmm. And just hearing that for the first time on mm-hmm. loud. The goosebumps, bro. Like yeah, I was great. just like, yo. And then he was spitting, mm-hmm. you know. But I, I, I used to always relate to Kendrick. I mean, uh, to J Cole more than Kendrick. That's why when people used to tell me with my top, I would always go Drake, J Cole, and Kendrick because yeah. it's hard to. I mean, you can shuffle them around anyway, you know, mm-hmm. in any order. Oh, for but sure. Pretty it's much. just more relatability at that point because it's just like, who do you prefer That's to listen to? That's basically how I how I go off. It'll, it'll be like J Cole, Drake, then Kendrick for mm-hmm. me. As far as if I'm going ranking those three, yeah, because Kendrick like. He's dope, but sometimes I don't want to hear that fast spitting shit. Yeah. I don't always want to hear that. <laughs> Which is my mm-hmm. thing with Eminem. Like I Exactly. People, people hate yeah. my take on Eminem, but I'm just like, yo, I enjoy I love Eminem. him, bro. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> I know him. I can't listen to him all the time <laughs> over like, the other, like some other people. Or 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 just think about the Eminem we grew up on. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like the one that Mockingbird and stuff like that. Bro. You know, like one that really had you sitting It is my favorite yeah, song. Man. Yeah, like, bro, it had it's you thinking. Like, it was mm-hmm. just like, yo, I know that song word for word. <laughs> no, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> but, um, Haley, I know you miss your mom. Mm-hmm. I know you miss your dad. When I'm gone, I'm trying <laughs> to give it a something I never <laughs> had. <laughs> bro, I used to go <laughs> off. That's when I used to, uh, that's when I used to look up the lyrics. <laughs> That's when I used to look up the lyrics Man, I used and read to them. Play that bitch over and yeah, over yeah. and over and over. A time now, like hush, that. little baby, don't you? But I don't be wanting to learn fast shit all the time, mm-hmm. and that's just the reality of it. Nor like, does it. Nor is it hitting because it'd be right. Like, exactly. It just nor does saying. it hit because I feel like some some lines have to sit, you know. Yeah. And then when you you're spitting over them so fast, yeah, that's cool. But now I can't resonate with that line too long enough. Facts. To where I feel like it's just. That mm-hmm. was the hardest thing because Kendrick say some hard ass shit. Yeah, no, for sure. Yep. But it's like he'll have times where he's like going so fast on it. I'm like, damn, that was hard. That was hard. That was hard. That was hard. I like your that brain you put, can't even process all, all this is no. hard. <laughs> but it's like mm-hmm. I feel like it would have been harder if you slowed it down. Yeah. Sometimes, like, but that's uh, that's preference. At the Attention end of the to day. detail. Like, because damn, a lot, bro. I'm like, because <laughs> then I'm reacting to a song and he's like going in. I'm mm-hmm. like. Okay, yo, bet, yo. I'm definitely gonna have to hear it again, though. Cause oh, I well, you heard it here, folks, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Brandon don't really be hearing shit. I'm like, dog, there's many times I'm like, uh, damn, you rapping too fast, shit. Like, but I'm like, at the uh, end of the day, it's still preference. So I like, right. I can understand how they can interchange, flip to one, two, three, wherever you want to put right. them. But they all have that talent, that crazy talent. And you know what is crazy? Because a lot of people rap fast, and a lot of people like mm-hmm. are savvy with it, and you can catch on. But one person that I actually like when they rap fast is Joiner. Like, I don't oh, know what yeah, it is, yeah. but like when Joiner rap fast, it's like. I can hear it's like the way he makes it. It's the way he pronounces it. Yeah. He mm-hmm. he pronounces so clear to a yeah. point where you're gonna know what he's saying. Exactly. That makes you right. super, super talented. And his pauses and, and comebacks when, is just when you can do that like when on Dreams Unfold, the the the, the song he just dropped, like with uh mm-hmm. 
With little what's TJ. It? Little TJ. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I honestly hate that little TJ was on it. I'm not going to lie. I did not like that he was on the second half. It kind of <laughs> messed up the vibe for me. <laughs> I personally feel like the baby or somebody should have been on that song. Cause well, it's based a lot on of controversy beat, wrong with yeah. the baby. Based on that beat, I feel like the baby would have felt like roll with it better because it was like a silly mm-hmm. year vibe mm-hmm. from Joyner. So I was like, damn, the baby would have ate this hoe. Then you got little T. Like I didn't, I didn't like that shit. I thought it was whack. Not the nose compressed. <laughs> like I thought it was whack as hell. But mm-hmm. the way Joiner changed his flow, he was like, he switched up though, way too. Like he was, he was eating that shit. I can hear it right now, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, Joiner. Like he was here for a it's while. It's the fact that he can go in so many different different pockets, different different pockets bro. And, and I'm he, glad he started to do that because people pocketed him. They put him in a box as his fast rap. Yeah, mm-hmm. or the YouTube like I'm only mm-hmm. serious. I can only do videos. Like he got out of it. I'm glad because he broke out of that shell of you got to be watching my video in order for me to vibe with it. Not even just that. You got to, um, I, I can do, you, like, what was it? Um, he used to freestyle on other people's beats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so he was like, you have to basically remix, kind of like the Jacquees box that people mm-hmm. was putting Jacquees in. Mm-hmm. You can, he can only remix on people's songs and do it better, but he can't do his own tracks. Right. And that's kind of where I felt Joyner was at because that's how he was getting popular. Remember, yeah. he was just spitting on other people's uh, uh, songs and stuff and killing it. Yeah. And I thought I that shit that was 21 dope. Savage. Man. <laughs> man. Uh, the Jordan, bank account? Uh, oh, my Jordan, God. Joyner was going crazy, bro. And his videos was so meaningful, too. Like, I mean, there's a lot of talented people out here in the music game, man. So oh, that's why sure. um, I'm interested to see where we rate our albums uh, once. Hopefully, Kenner's drops this year, of course. Um, mm-hmm. After Drake, after hearing Kanye, J. Cole, um, and whoever else you want to kind of put in there. But, um... <clears throat> Yeah, I kind of wonder where we're gonna rank them. I think we at the end of the year we should see yep. where we rank them. So far, J Cole's still over uh, Kanye. J Cole's yeah. definitely yeah, over yeah. Kanye. Um, mm-hmm. So we're mm-hmm. we're gonna see Drake. And again, it's because we'll he put so many extra songs. It's like maybe if he did a sweet what, twelve, like right? If he did a sweet twelve, Even thirteen, if he did fourteen, twenty-seven, fourteen, yeah, it was twenty-seven. Yeah, that was the part two. I loved it. Yeah, that was yeah. The part some of them part two should have been the original. Fast, or you should have yeah. ma- uh, mashed them all together. Yeah. Either one. Like, put Jay-Z and the baby on it. Yeah. He, he pulled a Chris Brown move where he did quali- what, quantity over, like, I'm not even going to say over quality. I don't know what quality. Chris Brown's did. How, how many songs was that? That he one? He did, like, 40. 40? Yeah. 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 He, that was two in a row, though. He Do you realize two. I've still never heard that album yet? All of it. I, like I never, indigo, right? I never you, clicked mm-hmm. on it. You're gonna miss songs regardless. Like yeah, even yeah. I still catch songs that I didn't even listen to the first time. Like I listened to it, but I didn't listen. Yeah, yeah. That's when I be talking about when they be talking about these verses. I'm like, man, nowadays they're pushing so much music. Back in the day, it was just really like, let me let you me put this out. To marinate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me let yep. me sit on this. Let me let me digest this. Now it's just like, yeah, he go twenty, he go thirty. It go forty. I mean, go another to be twelve. Honest, it go uh, a ten EP. Scorpion was go like seven. that too. It was like a two disc, pretty much. Yeah. A side and a B side. That was his first time doing but that. That was, was his first time doing. Chris it. Brown did that like twice. Yeah, like, and it worked for Drake because it was more rap and then more singing right. in mm-hmm. a way. Not like, only that, the thing is, Drake also gives you stuff in moderation. Yeah, that's Drake true. doesn't oversaturate the amount of music he drops. Uh, that's that's true. why he we stays. We haven't heard an album since twenty eighteen. I don't think people understand that. That's this nigga is good at staying relevant he's without true. He's yep. market, an album. He knows how to stay relevant, and he understands the flow of the like the flow of the rap game. He understands it. That's mm-hmm. what makes him so damn skilled to me. Did it's not the just the, the, the bars and the stuff. It's the fact that he knows when to drop them. He yep. knows how what style is hot right now. Mm-hmm. He knows what style to use in this track. He knows what flow to do. Like that's what makes him so goddamn. That nigga's an assassin, yeah. bro. Like he, yep. like he don't Drake, miss. Yeah. <laughs> It's rare that he, he don't. Do. <laughs> it's hella rare. It's super rare. Yeah, I don't. You know, you know, you know, he'll have some that I, oh, you could have did better than that. Okay. Yeah, for sure. That's that's about it. That's usually yeah. what you get. It won't be. Like, I've never like, heard it. And his his yeah, you could do life, better yeah. is usually still a banger. Yeah, right. his could do like, better. More life is, was like a throwaway. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was. But it's still so use, fucking like, hard. It's just like it still has some good. Oh, how good you get the whole? Oh, that free yeah, smoke that go hard too. Out of body, yeah. bro. I was listening yeah, to that whole yeah. tub. I don't know how that didn't make it on views, but I'm just glad that we got it on another. 
It don't even little, matter. Like, right. like I told you the other time, views just gets better and better the more I listen. I told you. I told it's, it's you. Like, it's one of those cigars sitting back. I, type that's what I, I said. I, I listen. Out of all chill. the albums, I listen to views the most. Like, because I don't it's a, know why. It's a growing. Like, it's like a I'm grown. Yeah. Like, it's not a one that I can just, oh, I'm going to jam it this one time. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because my first time hearing, I was like, "This is pretty basic Drake shit." Like I didn't feel like it was <laughs> it was very over the top. But mm-hmm. as I let let it like grow on me, and I listen to it more and more, I, I like it more and more because I'm like, it's like he's saying, "I'm I'm leveling up." Yeah, and and, yep. and I, I want y'all to understand, I don't need to do what I did. Before. Yeah, and it's Real. that's dope as hell to me. Views like, is hard, bro. I'm trying to figure yeah. out which one I still listen to the most. I think it probably it's out of. Nothing was the same. Nothing was the same is what I was Or <laughs> it's like views that take care of me. Or if you're reading this, it's too late. That one too. Mm-hmm. Those, those are the two I listen to the most. <laughs> if I'm, yeah, those are probably the ones I listen to the most. And then I'll go back to take care. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. I'll go back to like his original stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, I hit the uh, so far gone mix. Yeah, so far or, yeah. or the uh, now that they put them out the demo. Well, not the demo Ooh, tapes. Uh, the, the care the, package. Whatever. The care package. Yeah, the care man, package. Bro, the ones we had to go to, to that YouTube. All the time. Oh, mm-hmm. But now we can just go to our phone. I was so hyped when he dropped. I'm like, fine, yeah. bro. When me and Brandon, bro, I was just listening to Jodeci back yep. as I was pulling up, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro. I was hype about Big Crit doing the same thing. He mm-hmm. did, he dropped exactly. all his mixtapes. Yep. That's live, I'm like, bro, bro finally, man. Crit, Crit, that don't, is Crit don't get the recognition. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, man. He was. I literally put a, a whole tweet about that because somebody tweeted it. Like, I was just scrolling. I was like, Crit doesn't get the recognition he deserves. I was like, I say this like 10 times a year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I had to. I just think, that. I think Crit marketing in, you know what I'm saying, could enhance. Like oh, if for they, sure. If they pushed him in a different line, I mean, he can still be him. But if y'all push him in different bags, has, and he has the best marketing team, yeah. And I also feel like he doesn't, he doesn't really want to get out of certain. That's lanes. what I think. So, right, it's like he underground but mainstream. And I think he's Pretty okay much, with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Under he has mainstream, his core fan base. And, and I think yeah. that's what I do like about him because he Might still be gives term. me underground mm. vibes. Yeah, he's yeah. under mainstream. Right. And, and <laughs> Don't yeah. steal my shit. Yeah, I see what you're saying. <laughs> sure. Like, because he's like. Known, but it's like yeah. he still give you them like still low key, low key vibes. Mm-hmm. Like he was he, another, one, he was another one for like twenty eleven to twenty fourteen. Yep. He was like he was collabing one of the Wiz top. Yeah, stuff. like so yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Where's where's when he did that um it's been a long day. oh yeah that that really I think that really just took him to another level to yeah. Poof, yeah he ain't even have to worry about yep. you know, mm-hmm. just rapping rapping too much more you know is. You know he doing his thing. Um, he he was another, you know, diamond in the rough that I stumbled upon. Mm-hmm. Um, the mixtape whiz and then the black and yellow. It was like I heard him from black and yellow, but when people was like, "Yo, bro, this black ain't got yellow way more shit than least, that." Probably my least favorite. Song yeah, though. people was like, "Bro, this ain't even mm-hmm. the whiz that I." Yeah, yeah and that's true. I like we the, thought it was whack as hell. All of like whiz fans was like, "That's whack as hell." I like that Cabin Fever series. <laughs> there we had, go, Cabin Fever, Cabin yeah. Fever mixtapes mm-hmm. with uh, Juicy J. Bro, Woo. bro, Woo. that's another dude, Juicy J. Yep. Or, or I forgot which one. Yo, they say she never been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cushion mm-hmm. OJ. I was yeah, like, Cushion bro. OJ, bro, boy. That beat got to be that's one of the coldest times. Right and it's there. crazy because he's not yep. a he's yep. a, currency. He's, currency. Oh, currency. Oh, can I be honest, bro? It took me a while to like currency. Me too. Yeah, I, I did. The thing I is, did not see, like currency, look, bro. Like, and a lot of people used to. A lot right? of people used to shun me for saying that, but I'm like, bro, currency. Like, bro, what is the hype? It was just beyond me too. Basic. And I'm still like, low. Yeah, 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 yeah very I'm basic. still just like that, but I understand why they like him yeah. after yeah. like giving it a chance. No, yeah, the yeah, reason yeah, no. why I did not like him because I knew he was one of those artists. Not, not even knew he he is one of those artists. He's one of those artists that seems like he's talking about a lot. Mm-hmm. But he ain't, he ain't talking, talking about, about shit. Not, yeah. <laughs> That's the reality. Yeah. He'd be like, I, I walked in the bathroom, got a zip, then I rolled it yep. up, smoked Roll it. Up the blood. Like, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> and I hated <laughs> it, bro. And I was like, bro, you ain't talking about shit. Yeah. I was like, cut this shit off, bro. Do yeah. not put no currency in my but, car. But under the influence, like drinking or if you smoke, if yep. you, whatever you do, he hard. when you listen to it and you mm-hmm. listen to them beats and you're just like, his voice just yeah. flows. It, it floats. Going to, like <laughs> yeah. it floats. So I can understand stupid, if, stupid. if yeah. you were like drunk or something or if you were oh, yeah. high or whatever the case may be, 
Uh, I can understand then because like he gives a more he's more of a vibe yeah. than an actual like lyricist. He sounds like he's lyrical, but he ain't talking about he's shit. Not lyrical at all. He be like yeah, nah, nah, yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah, <laughs> nah, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. But like, like as I grown, like I understood like the hype of it, and there's oh, certain yeah. songs that I still like. I love to this day. Like it's actually a song called Still, and that beat's like yeah. yeah. I know what you're talking about. And that beat just, and it's hard. It was the, and I don't care what he's rapping yeah, about at this point. For me, point. it was the weekend at Bernie's uh, mixtape. Exactly. It was the beat of she she another man. She just wanted. That was my favorite song from him. Yeah, that beat, I was now, like, dog. All now, right, Curtis. Now, let, me, let, me, let me just be real on that. Now, that song, yeah. he's talking about something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's mm. an actual like track he's mm. talking about how mm. this chick, she don't give a damn about her man. Yep. She just want to fuck. Mm-hmm. And then. She's saying this guy does all the other stuff, like the yep. financial things, but this is the guy she goes to to get exactly. smashed. That's some bullshit. Yep. And, he's, and it's, a, it's, it's, it's a great song because of how detailed he is. Then his details actually matter then. That's how niggas end up going to jail. Yes. Yep. That's how people end up dead. <laughs> That's just the reaction. Let's not, let's yeah, not be a part of that. That was heavy on my rotation back in like 2011. But, but I mean, I, like, I I get his vibe, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I had to understand that because for the longest when people used to be like, oh, currency, 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 I'd be like, Yo, what the hell do y'all see in this broke down Lil Wayne? But he was that was my cash opinion. Money, I think at one point, or mm-hmm. money. Yeah, that mm-hmm. was my opinion at one point. But I'm mm-hmm. just saying, like Steve said, I get it's it's a vibe. I mean, it's just a, like a lot of artists like that. Yeah. yeah, like there's not really who you would think is a catch, but they're a vibe. To be honest, after I actually gave Currency a chance and understood certain songs, like why why. People love him so much. I started listening to other people kind of the same way without mm-hmm. listening to him for just that lyricism or just yeah. the beat or just whatever it is. I started listening to him for like, what is it that people like about him? And then, and then like Travis Scott, prime example. Mm-hmm. I hated Travis Scott when he first came out because I was like listening for a lyricist. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and I'm like, he just he's noise. not rapping about anything. This is Halo. He's in hip hop. It's just a catchiness, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm like, this is pop it, drop it, when I can have it. Uh, but straight up, like, straight up. He gives you that cut. But the whole jam, like, yeah, the whole jam. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He gives you that Kanye, Kanye yep. vibe, you know? He that created uh, the lane. Was a I was about to say somebody who did that. For this life, I cannot change. Mm. I'm like, huh? Oh, I'm like, deep off in the vein. That whole like, jam. Yep. Pop it, yep. pop it. For the life, I cannot change. That's the song that I was even thinking about at the time. I was trying to think of the studio doing that. But that was just a song. It's it. Damn, who else? I was about to name somebody else that does that. What? Lil Uzi? Nah. That um, raps about, that sounds like he's rapping like about something? Like a Travis. Oh, like a Travis. But it's like they're not really. You they're know. just vibe artists. Yeah. Mm. Dom Kennedy. I was just about to oh, say yeah, Larry yeah. June and Dom, Dom Kennedy. Dom Kennedy. Yeah. That's true. I, I yep. can mm-hmm. listen to Dom all day. Hey, bro. I'm a huge, I know I'm a huge Larry June fan, but yep. He's one of the ones he really don't rap about nothing, but they rap it's about vibe, regular, vibe. regular stuff though, and which is jams. what makes him cool. Yeah. Exactly, because it's, it's like, like Larry he, June was my artist this like, year, bro. Like uh, life ain't sweet. Yeah, so that's Dom K with life ain't sweet. Mm. Saturday through Sunday, yeah. 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 Summer, oh, wait, Saturday through Monday, but Talk in my Tuesday on you Thursday, want watermelon Sunday. Yeah. Like, like, okay. <laughs> OPM, yes, <laughs> other people's <laughs> money, ho. Just buy, just spend some iTunes money on another Beamer. I yeah. was like, oh, mm-hmm. I'm like, nah, it's just a vibe. So exactly. It's, it's that's a vibe, that's bro. when I started to understand. Like, all right, mm-hmm. man, I can listen to Dom all day. Same. Be a, yep. a lyrical miracle, spiritual. You know, Facts. not everybody gonna be talking about much exactly. of that. You know, but if they have a a nice vibe, and you get a sense of that's who yep. they really are. Mm-hmm. You can rock hey, with June it. You know what I'm saying? God, bro. Now for the the other artists, where it's just like, all right, it's just bad all around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or. The only thing that's saving them is the beats. Yep. We 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 know a few artists that the you only thing it. that's saving <laughs> them. I'm going to be honest with you. I know, <laughs> boys. Since the audio going to? Let's we back, baby. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, no, that's Playboy Cardi, bro. That's, that's, that's him. That's wild. I did not know. So he what, changed who up Who told his, him to change his, because obviously it's not working for him. His nephew. Like. <laughs> he said his nephew. Yeah, so smooth. I, I don't know. It was actually right. his cousin Coyle Ray. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know. know. But he decided to change up his sound. He definitely eating off on yeah, that song. You, yeah. And people started eating it up. I got a lot of Young Thug started doing that shit. Yeah, Young Bird. Thug. Bro, literally the worst people on the, on the Donda album was 
Young Thug, Young Thug Yachty, and, and uh, Yachty uh, Yachty you know what's crazy boy. though? I'm like, Yachty actually surprised me. I thought he, he, no, he did. He did. I didn't. He he. It wasn't. I, he was clear, but he was still all beat. Like I mean, it wasn't he great. held it. He held it, and I was just like, but Yachty? it was better than what yeah, I'm I was used like, to from Yachty. Because I am not yeah. a Yachty fan at all. Now here's <laughs> the thing with me. I'm not a Thug fan, but yet he's going to have some catch. I'm like, okay. I thought this was going to be it. I'm like, damn. I thought he was going to deliver. Like I think I think people overhype Young Thug. I've never been a young. They probably gonna crucify me for saying that. He got, some, he got that. some here and there. I ain't gonna lie, because he has his club bangers. That's why. I think yeah, they just, just overly stuff. hype him. I think. I think he's a phenomenal. Uh, but I feel like yeah. he, they overhype. It was just like mm. honestly, I liked Rich Homie Quan better. Oh yeah, when was bro. coming out. Rich Homie, Rich I don't Homie know what Quan. Happened. That nigga was going, bro. I just don't. Some it's like type he of fell. Way. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> he would rap too. And he, he had did. a vibe. I'm just like. He was original. He came out very hard. Like, I don't know what. Him happened. and Young Thug. And I, that's when I couldn't tell the that two at first. That whole Rich Game mixtape was yeah. like. Rich Game. They yeah. had some bangers it on there. It came out pretty hard. They were strong, bro. I don't know what. And then happened. they collabed with Propane out here in Houston. Yep. I was in Houston for a minute. Bro, that was my shit. Bro. That one. There we go. Yep. Yeah, Too low, ooh no, ooh no. Yeah, that hard. beat. Yep. Shout out to Rich Homie. Whatever you're doing right now, man. Hey, yeah, he actually bro. dropped a mixtape. Like, he has dropped. I yeah. want to say earlier this year. Yeah, really. Bro. I don't know. I need to go listen to it. That's how. That's what how did um, he do rough it is right now. Well, when the game don't want you no more, they don't want you. Yeah, they don't, don't want you. They don't want you. Like I don't know. I'm not sure. I really want to. There needs to be a documentary. No nah, facts. <laughs> Cause he was yeah. up there, like mm-hmm. that don't just happen. But like, it's, it's, it's also it. when he you, has no, when you go not, to sleep, no you, label, you, like, you don't catch on, like, you don't hold on to your momentum. Like, mm-hmm. And certain artists, if but he not, wasn't even a one hit wonder though. Like he was, he, he was, he was coming back but to back again. Like I said, if you don't hold on to that momentum, depending on the type of artist you are, it won't, it won't fly. Right. It's mm-hmm. kind of like um, rich boy selling net. Oh all yeah, that was like him. He was a one hit wonder. I feel like he wasn't trying to hold on to that momentum though. He's another person that probably didn't. Look, he probably got his million, bought a house, exactly, saved, nah, living off interest right now. Yeah. Like people have to take. Drake as an example for a lot of situations mm-hmm. because he he doesn't go long enough to where he's like all right they forgot about me yeah he always go like, he always some, pop, pops in with a feature here yeah. and there yep. and then he's like all right album the stimulus yeah. package he Definitely. knows the he knows Stim- the formula bro he is the he the is commander in chief of stimulus package. Package. rap he knew was up formula he knew what was up when we was in the house. Uh, during COVID, mm-hmm. right foot up, yep. left foot He's like, Let me entertain y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that was it like, everywhere. Like, you know, yo. granted, of course, people are like, "Yo, what is this? This corny stuff?" But it worked. Because yep. guess what? Just like Hotline kids, Bling, kids, kids love TikTok. It. TikTok. <laughs> Just, he, oh boy, sleep you do it. on Hotline Bling. Boys don't trend. realize how much Hotline Still. Hotline Bling was like. But that's almost the thing. popish commercialist. But like, that's the thing. It, it was went, perfect. It yep. went all the way to another yep. demographic. But people was coming at Drake because drama originally came out with that 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 actual that like instrumental that it was kind of a flip of drum and drum was you know he was starting yeah, to get some I know waves. It wasn't, at the time. it wasn't the same like. The drum was the was the literally Super Mario like do 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 do. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah. He just but talking he, about the idea. Was yeah, he, more he like a, you know, and people were like, "Oh, there go Drake, still in, still in the, you know." I guess you could say coming off like a culture vulture. I don't know or what, whatever. what dropped first. What's, what's Drum wrong? drums actually dropped first, dropped, and then okay. and then he dropped Hotline Blue. I hate when people get mad because it didn't go as far. Like. Don't drum? get mad because we, we and then a lot of and the, the one with drum actually yeah, went I off like for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, like but I mean, it, it, kinda, died. it died. <laughs> it died just as fast as it went up, though. Yep. Well, I would say it, it lasted. It lasted for a while because then just, it did. Drake hopped on it and bought. No, no, no. You know what? You're sounds. right. You're right. You're right. You're right. It lasted for a little, yeah, but it time. still died. Because <laughs> when Hotline Bling came out, it yeah. was like, I want a Hotline Bling. Yeah, that's, dun, 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 dun. that's that. that that's shopping time. in Macy's. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You. You. Oh, I like them I like, oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I need me a tie. The elevator <laughs> track. You sitting in the elevator. Yep. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I meant by it went. It yep. shifted to another demographic, though. Yeah, it did. Yeah. And then vibe too. 
Just no, Drake. I need to listen to this dude, man. Mm-hmm. Looks like a stand-up I think guy. I can listen to this guy. And he's from the yeah. six. Six, 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 six. Six is my favorite number. That would really set him off into like the other type of mm-hmm. different type of oh, coaches. The he's island like, vibes. Still the island, island vibes. The island vibes. I mean, Drake got the UK. He he's got like the UK. Canada, of course. Drake alone. just that man, he got bro. America. He that man. Oh, y'all Drake riding man. his nuts before the album drop, huh? Mm-hmm. I don't care what you say, nigga. See that? That's that. Well, you, can, you just got to accept reality. This man been on top for 10 plus years, bro. You just got to accept this waiting on the truth. Boy album that's gonna drop at the same time. That's, I, I put oh yeah, didn't Soulja Boy? I put that poll yeah. out there. He dropping at twelve. Very stupid. Y'all didn't know camera, that. What camera's looking at me? Yes. What, what, put the, put it on Ross right now. You see that face? That's a serious face right there. That's when you know it's some <laughs> bullshit about to happen. Like I put a poll up. I said, uh, which one y'all listen to first? Jacob? And of course, people so, trolling. Of course, of course. That's why, I, that's why I did it because I yeah. was trolling. Because yeah. so. you know, boys ain't. No disrespect to Soldier, he knows Soulja, how to stay dude, relevant in the like, music yeah. industry. He finds himself, he finds a way to stay relevant. So I keep give doing him that. stupid. Every time you find yourself something relevant, you do something stupid. Still, didn't his verse get taken off a of Kanye album? Yeah, and I see why. And it apparently, did. Kanye was gonna put him on like a the Gap campaign or something like that. Which you know the Gap about to take off, and yeah, I think I don't know. I'm pretty sure he messed up that bag. I'm like Soldier, come on. Nah, like, Soldier Boy said the Kanye diss is gonna be on the album that's dropping tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So, well, you don't sit your tra- yeah. I don't know what it well, is, but up, <laughs> his features are trash. Who? Oh. Soldier. It's like he be off beat. Yeah. He's Chilling in a Rari, man. It's not like he want to say you, but yeah. he's trying so hard to fight it. I don't expect anything. So I don't, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say you. Be checking that album out. No disrespect. Soul. But I would say I'm Soldier, just, just, uh, all disrespect. just make artists, man. I don't know. Be, be the next Birdman, I guess. You know, that Just be keep dope. being a troll, bro. But, Oh yeah, that troll. The trolling is funny. Invest. The trolling is you know, what works these invest days. Invest your money. Look. Yeah. <laughs> we not gonna deny your talents. Yeah. Yeah. He's, See, you're not a one hit wonder man. Things. You done made it to Facts. the game as far as you have. Right. Why make yourself look like a fool? Yeah, because that's, 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 my that's thing. what makes you relevant. Money. That's what I hate. Soldier should be in a whole like so other also, bracket. He, he should be in a different bracket. He he trolls to a degree where he's not at like a six nine level of troll. Yeah, that's a nuclear get to, level. Get to the point where he's that's, ready to kill himself. That's almost like, like yeah, that's, that's dangerous. Suicide. I'm sorry. Yeah, that, like, yeah, that's it's that's very dangerous. Yeah. When I can't go outside and just not comfortably now. Yeah, I can't live like that. But people don't understand. This ain't Grand Theft Auto, bro. You don't just get to die and come back and you got zero stars. No, nigga, like, <laughs> the heat stay on. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you forever known for this Right song. when you think that shit died down. Mm-hmm. Bro, it's right back on, bro. Right. You want to live like that? Play the game, bro. Just live through a game. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't be like that in real life, bro, because it's, mm-hmm. it's no do-overs, man. So mm-hmm. once you make a name for yourself and you start putting this stigma on you and, like, you a snitch and all that and because you actually snitch yep. for a reason because you got into a game and started doing shit a certain way, it's tough, man. That's crazy. That's why I always tell people don't don't get into anything that you know you not a, about the life of. Like if you're not about that life, why put yourself in that situation? Mm-hmm. I had people I had interaction with in the past. Like people put themselves in a position to where they some real shit start happening. They they looking like Mr. Krabs. The world is shaking. Mm-hmm. It's like no, <laughs> nigga, you shouldn't be not in this that mean. Yeah. Me boy. Like clearly Classic you're not about this life. Why are you putting yourself in this predicament? Man, bro, speaking of crap, Mr. Crab, I saw the most crazy theory. And I'm like, wow. Is there some Meat Canyon uh, shit, bro? No, not Meat Canyon. I'm about to say no. Don't be Apparently me it's a it's, it's a theory better. that that Mr. Krabs is Pearl's actual like sugar daddy. That's why he never refers to her as daughter, as in like, oh, that's my Pearl. And she says, "Oh, daddy, I'm like just trying to ruin my child." And yeah, I'm that's like, all, that's bro, all people but I'm not what grown ass? As stupid, I'm like, it kind of I'm like, damn, bro, because you know how Mr. Krabs is with money, and then like, of course, she's a whale. I don't know how a whale can, you know, <laughs> be, you know, ha- have, you know, be related to a, a crab. Like, even though I know it's a cartoon, I but I, it, you know, it had me thinking. I'm like, bro, he's like, now nah, I got to put logic to this shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> what if he adopted her? Yeah, well, hey, that could be. That's what I always assume. I always thought away. like yeah. something happened to a mom and he adopted her. That's what I used to think. But you know, I don't know. There's a lot of crazy cartoon theories, and that's why I'm like, I that seen shit that funny, bro. bro. That nigga say, yeah, sugar daddy. <laughs> that's just strange. Yeah, that, that, that would be very bizarre. But that's had me thinking. I'm like, bro, type shit. that's definitely, definitely. some Meekin. Yeah. You just gave me Canyon their next video. Oh lord, facts. <laughs> oh, y'all better cut checks. What's up, Pearl? What are you gonna do for these? Oh, new sneakers. Oh, daddy. I'm going to do all. Oh, I'm going to stop. I'm you can already see the exactly, creepiness. Bro. You know what you're going to hear in the background? And it's all about you, Pearl. 
<laughs> on your 16th birthday. You stupid, bro. In the back, in yep. a creepy way. Exactly. It's a, Screwed. It's a uh, deceased or the, uh, whatchamacallit, a dissolving little fish or whatever. The, uh, so, what would y'all rate, since we've been talking about the, the Kanye, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> Since we this, this conversation was going, yeah, that was going way <laughs> left. Yeah. Yeah. End up getting blocked again. Exactly, I yeah. thought we told you, niggas. So told y'all about me, can you guys? <laughs> <laughs> we felt like y'all was talking yeah, about exactly. block. Yeah. Yeah. Like, come on, <laughs> bro. Right. But nah. Uh, so since we was just talking about uh, Don the album, when we gave our rating, what would you rate it on the list of Kanye albums from? Like, where would you put it in the tier for you know everyone's personal list because everybody list may be different. I put it as the fourth yeah. for me. Your fourth favorite yeah. Kanye album? Yeah. Under like what? Watch under the throne, under. Away, I forgot Trump about Watch the Throne. Are we counting Watch the Throne? I would. I'm all, I'm always counting that. You really? always counting it? because okay. it's a it's a it's a duo. So like it's Dang, his that's album. Just, it's I, not like he's I never featuring. counted it as his own album. But I, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't count it only because it's, it's like, in his discography on every streaming. I mean, yeah. Because mine would be you graduation, mm-hmm. mine would be then college dropout, mm-hmm. and then addiction, mm-hmm. 808s, and then uh, my my dark twisted fantasy. Yeah, I forgot about that album. Wait, now. what's addiction? The 2000, his his album from 2000. No, addiction, uh, late registration, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was like, it, uh, the song what? addiction is is on there. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha, yeah. And then that's when like, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Late registration is definitely. And then. So you said you so that's not fourth. Then that's like five, yeah, I forgot about the. That's fourteenth. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot about the my it's, beautiful dark twisted. It's too fantasy. many albums. Yeah. It's like six for me. Yeah, so, it'll so be six. That's what I'm thinking in my. All head. of his mm-hmm. other like past five or six. Besides the it's, it's, album, it's above like, yay. It's above. Oh yeah, I yeah, gotta go from bottom. I can't yeah, go bottom. Yeah, go from bottom it's up. A, it's it's a, above yay. It's, it's above yay. It's above Pablo. It's above Jesus. It's above Jesus. Is it above? Well, yeah, it's above. It's uh, above the, that. I hate being bipolar. I love it or something like that. Whatever. It's that above, yeah, called. yeah, yeah. I know yeah, what you're way about. It's that him. Like, I him. think that's. I hate being bipolar. I love it. That's. I think what that is. When that was yay, right? Was it yay? I think yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was yay. Yeah, it was yeah. yeah, I skipped that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah don't, <laughs> that was, the, that was the, the best song on there. Drake wrote, but yeah, that's how it started uh-huh. to be. Yep. No, that's the be- that was the best song on there. Drake wrote it, but um, Tell well, Cole wrote it, but um, Tell so I would have to put it. I would. It's definitely over Yeezus. Definitely over Yay. Definitely over, over the Life of Pablo. Garbage. Over the recent, the past, even like, the Christian album. Even though it's it's above that one. Christian yeah. album yeah. was good. But it was good. was good, and that was yeah. good. So I would I would give it right under um So out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Um so my beautiful dark, uh it's probably fantasy, my beautiful eight oh eight eight oh eight and art heartbreak, graduation, late registration, the college dropout, the life of Pablo, yay, kids see ghosts. I like that album, even though it was a collaboration of mm-hmm. Jesus is King Donda. I passed on that one heavy. Kids see ghosts. I listen to like three mm-hmm. songs. I was like, I won't listen to this. So, so Ye's at the bottom. Yeezus, mm-hmm. the life of Pablo, and then I think I'll go Donda. Okay. No, Yeezus and then Donda. Yeezus and Donda? Yeah. I'd probably. Yeah, Donda. So you can look at it. I want to say I put Donda right below uh, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Because obviously, without that, you don't get Donda. Because yeah. a lot of tracks were heavily inspired by that. Mm-hmm. So it's 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 up there. It's something that I'll find myself going back to because it's more than just, you know what I'm saying? It's more. For me. Yeah, it's more than just yeah. like, you know, it's like the, the production of it is. Mm-hmm. It's, you can tell there's a lot of care behind it. And I I like going back to my uh my dark uh my beautiful dark twist I was fantasy because uh, it's mm-hmm. just the production a level. Today. Mm-hmm. Can we get much higher? Yeah, it's just oh, one hand in the air. You yep, don't even so care. Cool. Middle finger in the air. That was a you beautiful don't even album. Care. Life like this, mm-hmm. bro. That yeah, should go bro. hard. So yeah, it's right under there. After it's right 2011, under there. it's after that for me. Right after 2011. Yep, yep, yep. Much. So if this yeah, that, that this, damn college, it's a solid one. It's, that this damn is, college dropout, man. College dropout was man. his earlier stuff is top tier. Yeah, there's without a doubt those three Talk top albums. Classic. It should be yeah. in every hip hop head yeah, rotation. It's top you, top tier music bro. in general, bro. You Legendary. gotta have those three. Albums. What are y'all top? Mm, I'm gonna save that one for next pod. I mean, we talking <laughs> about music right now. Talking about nah, albums. We gotta get into some. 
some some more heat. But uh, top, yeah, okay, okay. top five albums mm, that you so just listen to that, that you hard. just listen to on a regular. You ain't gotta oh, say your regular all the times. Oh, just on a regular. Five. Well, it, graduation would be okay. Well, for me. Y- y'all can okay. run them real quick. Go ahead. Since we we can end it on that, then all right. Top five top sure. five albums that you just listen to. Graduation for sure. Uh, I gotta pull them up. One of the Drake albums. Uh, which one? I gotta. Jeez. I gotta choose. Nothing was the same. God. Nothing was the same. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. It's just that. It's just that Tuscan leather, bro. It, it gets yeah, me every no, time. I don't bad, ever skip. Is it, it bad if all of them is Drake's? <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever. No, nah, it's not all of them gonna be Drake. Uh, so, uh, graduation. <laughs> Tus. Uh, I keep saying Tuscan leather. Uh, nothing was the same. Um. Shit, what's another good album? Oh, I do listen to uh, "Heartbreak on a Full Moon" by Chris Brown. Mm. I actually, I actually do listen to that one. Because um, that's my jam, bro. Oh, that gets that little. I like dog. And I need. You need two more, right? Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think, bro. That's a tough that's hard, one, bro. That's I uh, actually I can go in my music. I'm actually that's what I'm doing. Yeah, to make sure I can. I'm not, I so can go in my music and see views. Heartbreak on full moon probably would be no indigo would be my other one. Indigo. I, I listen to indigo a lot lately. Oh, good kid, Mad City. That's views. four. Yeah, okay. good kid, Mad City, and um. But if we're going hip hop like albums, not R and B. Then I I'm not yeah, going to hip hop albums. Oh, we just doing hip hop. Okay, then it was uh, just whoever you listen to right now. Oh. Okay. Okay, uh, Good Kid, Mad City, and I want to say... I don't think I could pick five, bro. It's extremely hard. It no, it's different. I know, I know. Uh, Tyler, Tyler, the Creator's, like, Flower Boy album, that whole album be jammed, bro. Really? Like, they slept on that album. Have you listened to the latest one? I have not finished it, but oh I know it's... Yeah, I hear it's amazing, yeah. Like, it's Culture great. 2. Uh, not Culture 2, uh, the First Culture. First Culture, oh, yeah. First, first culture. culture is a good one. Stays in everybody, rotation. I ain't going to lie to everybody you. Everybody said that's their classic. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's... I think that they, might be the best Migos. Yeah, yeah that's the best I ain't going to lie. To me. So, Who was heavy? Mm-hmm. So, Views. Okay, that makes sense. Um, Color and Book. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's okay. a good one. Because Color and Book was a good one. They, like... Mm-hmm. I listen okay. to Color and Book. I have to go back into it. Um, Ra Ra, the one by Mariah, the scientist. Mm, okay. I listen to a lot of that. You I'm, put me on today because mm-hmm. I'm actually listening to that back to back yeah. to back to back mm-hmm. to back to back to back. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Um, That's I, I don't want to do Drake twice. Yeah, it's but it so gotta nice. be something that's been in rotation. Because I mean, I'd be listening to nothing with the same so as well. In okay. I'm in the care probably package. Be, so that's four. So um, one more. Who else? Who else? Hmm. I'm not. I'm doing only rap because I. Okay. Like, if I go R and B, it's gonna be. Oh, it's gonna be. That's gonna be a whole nother like. But I know for a fact, Heartbreak on Full Moon. That's that shit stays. Because if yeah. I did it like with R and B, it would have Giveon in of there. Of course, Giveon goes in there. Yeah, that would have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I've been listening to Giveon. Lucky day, like Lucky those, yeah, those are people yeah. I've been listening to a yeah. lot. Oh, more. Revenge of the Dreamers. Ooh, that's a Ooh. that's a good Revenge one. of the Dreamers. Revenge oh, of the yeah, Dreamers. Yeah. That's a that's what a solid one. Yeah. Okay. Um, solid one, solid one. Like my probably like my most rotated would be Lupe Fiasco the Cool. Ooh, God damn it. Mm. I forgot. See, I can't I'm gonna have I can't, to go read that. Oh, we can't do we can't, can't do, do that. That's not fair. I listen to that a lot. Like I listen that's to it like, 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 once every month. Like okay. it's just one of those albums. Um Shout Big Crit Forever in the Day. Yep. Okay. I listen to that all the time. I, the game, the documentary. That's a good that's um, a solid one. That's too. literally my favorite Bro, album. Of all I time. recently I fully jammed, I got I got uh, uh the game 1992. Yep, I fully listened that to that album down. like a couple weeks ago and I'm like I don't know how it's I so slept good. on that album. 1992. That whole album is What's it um it's a couple more. We had two more, right? Oh yeah, I bet. And I listened to her. Her is a good one. The first year I do I'll too, but I'm not using that because that's R&B. Yeah. That's why I was like, I can't do it. Yeah. It's too nah, many R&B. Okay, let's do R&B. let's do R&B next. Yeah, cool. um, Y'all make me then, happy. Over so I said with the game, Lupe, and then the Big Crit. I know I listened to Drake. Nothing was the same. Hey, bro, nothing was the same. It's hard yes. not. That's to, three. Nothing was the same. Tuscan, so, was, Tuscan. It's hard not to listen. Do, to do, do, do. It's hard not to listen to Drake. Cake, 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 cake. It seems like he got a vibe for every situation. You need a vibe, cake. Should I be listening to all season? Like literally, like almost every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Every year, it Makes almost sense. always gets in there. Okay. We off mix. What about you, Brandon? Brandon, you can finish. This is gonna be a hard one, bro. Man, it's extremely like, hard. Dog, graduation definitely. Mm-hmm. Off season. Too. Okay, that's two. When it comes to Drake, honestly, bro, man, I've been jamming like all these. 
<laughs> really, like you can. It's hard. It's it's, it's between nothing was the same and and uh okay. and take care. Mm, I, wanna, I think I might go with take care though. Okay. Take care. Man, take care yeah. is a great album. Four has to, to go be back. Big, to. Uh, big crit. It was the mm-hmm. shit. There's so many mixtapes and albums. You know? talking about the one with uh? Um, I think the 2012 one or 2011. Um, a time Creed was here. I think. That's oh, Creed was here, yeah. like the first one. Yeah, okay, Creed was one here. of the first yeah. ones. Yeah, that's another one. And the final one, man, it might be, it might be a good kid message. Hey, like can't go solid. wrong with that one. Yeah, Shireen, you over here for Shireen, bro? That <laughs> nigga, where your nigga, where you, where you from? Bro. Where it's your like mom a, stay? Where your grandma stay? Where your daddy like, stay? You said R and B. Oh yeah, R and B. Get out the car. Get out um, the car for a snatch. Her, car, homie. Mm-hmm. If you know, um, you know. Give it on. What what albums? Uh, so albums. <laughs> her, yeah. her. Yeah. Oh, her, um, her, her. Just. Uh, I like uh, Give it on. Uh, right. oh. What is his? What's that? Because it's not an album, but take time. Mm, okay. Those that them that eight piece from Take Time. That's the one where he got a heartbreak anniversary. Mm-hmm. Like I want yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's the original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From yeah, Give yeah. On. You know what I'm saying? That's so. That's what I'm listening to. Um, I'll hit a. What is that? I'm not gonna lie to you. I really jam Free Spirit every now and then from Khalid. Okay, yeah. that's that's a solid that one too. That album is fire. That's yeah. a solid I'm, one. I'm, I, I find myself constantly uh, going back to Khalid. Um, can't, can't beat that all the time. So that's three. Mm-hmm. My girl outside of my wife, <laughs> Ella May. Mm, Ella May. That's a solid one. Yeah. Will she? Uh, hopefully, she um, make some more music soon. I'm waiting, bro. It's been a little minute. It's, it's been a hot something. second. Um, and one more. Can we go take care? <laughs> no, sorry, sorry. I cannot go take care. Mm, this this can we go? Why, why not, man? It's a lot to of slip it in there, man. No, bro. It's a lot it's, of it's R and B, but no, it's bro. a lot of R and B vibes. No, bro, got um, it. You know what you, you know, you know what you talking about when it comes to R and B. That's a hard one. The fifth spot. Lucky day. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I I caught on the lucky day, but, but I yeah, can't yeah. say I'm listening to him Got like you. every day. It's usually her, Ella May, Giveon. To be honest with you, okay. like them, literally like my three. That's like, a, that's a solid. And then Mariah the Scientist. That's a so solid three. That's actually the last one, Mariah the Scientist. Uh, I'll go with unless of I was course Giveon, take time, uh, lucky day. His last project. Mm. Which one was it? Oh my god, that shit. Hold on, I'm about to pull it up right now. His last project, uh, what's it? What's that album called? God damn it! It's supposed to show up in my shit. Dang, how we not put Childish Gambino? I had, I literally had because <laughs> yeah. the internet was literally sitting Man. on my front screen. Damn, bro! So I almost said it, but I was like, it wasn't top five because the ones I, I named were literally five. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. It was right after that, though. Yeah. I guarantee, you, if we did a ten, okay. The ones I think is literally top I'll ten. Heavy on rotation. So yeah, give me on the one I named. Uh, Lucky day, table for two. That's heavily in rotation. Um, her, her. Well, actually, her, her recent stuff. That her she recent dropped. was hard. Yeah. Uh, I've been jamming that pretty hard. Um, who else? You said what? Listen to a lot of Chris. This, this girl. Well, really of course, know. obviously, I've been jamming. You know, I said uh, Heartbreak on a Full Moon. I've been jamming Indigo as well, too. What was his um, Him and Young Thug joint? Uh, that was, was, um, was that the what's the name of what's that? the name of that project that mixtape him Chris and uh, Young Thug uh, slime ball or slime, slime season season no, I ain't really listen to that to be honest like I tried it and I was like um huh <laughs> slime and B slime and B yeah. and then I wasn't uh, a big fan of that one I want to say the last artist I can think of. That's been on repeat R and B wise. I want to say maybe, yep. maybe it's a uh, Snow Allegra. Mm. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a really See, good one. Mm. she been on on the repeats, man. Shout so. out to Dolo, I think. Yeah, yeah, right Dolo the, put me on the yeah. Snow Allegra. Uh, Very nice. Yep. Mm-hmm. What album? Had dropped an album a year. What album? 
I've never, I've never jammed Rihanna record. Yeah, 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 like yeah, my, not my wife did, and I liked some track. Like I like the tracks on it, but I'm not going out of my way to listen to Rihanna. I've just never been yeah. that yeah. way, um, person. Not for her. I don't know. It's just I don't really care for her voice that much. If it ain't Beyonce, Halo, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, my five would probably be Give You On, of course. Take time. Mm-hmm. Gotta have that one. Lucky Day. Mm-hmm. Um, it's painted over table for two. Mm-hmm. I love both of them. Yeah, 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 but yeah. But paint it definitely. I jam the hell out of that one. I listen to Beyonce, but not as much as these. Yeah. Um, we, Mac Air, something to feel. Mac Air's is nice. Is like <laughs> my crack. Mac Air's is nice. Um, her. Of course. I used to know her, not the actual, her, the other one, the one before, but I mm-hmm. used to know her. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Chris she. Brown Indigo got to mm-hmm. do that. Solid. What about you, Brando? Uh, is uh, Usher's Honor- Confessions. Hold on, let Ooh. me stop. Let me stop. Yeah, let me stop. My honor- honorable mention. Honorable mention was Tim's though. That uh, Free Mind. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I know what's on. Oh about. my God. Right. Oh, my. I don't even know if that's. I don't know if that's R and B or just like Caribbean. Or mm-hmm. We're gonna have to check Whatever. it out then. It's amazing. It's the chick that sings that. Uh, she's on uh, yeah, Confessions. Was a monster. Drake's. No she's on Drake's body. album, mm-hmm. right? It's that chick. Yep, they confirmed it. Yeah, mm-hmm. they. She's on Drake's yeah. album. Yeah, yeah, she is. Hey, so and so is so and so is on. I think it. Her, her album is fire as shit. Yeah. I hope you don't do no heavily featured ass. I mean, there's yeah, a lot of features on there. Like a, somebody in Houston, they say, "Hey, your your, fa- your hometown hero Heroes. is on Certified Lover Boy." Mm-hmm. I'm know thinking Trade the Truth. It could be Trade the Truth. It should be Trade the Truth. If he got Trey it, said, it, it said your hometown hero. <laughs> No, nigga. It said That's hero. Not, I know hero. When you think too. of the hero in Houston, bro, you think Travis. Oh, but somebody was like, if it's Travis else. Scott, I'm going to be pissed the fuck off. Fuck off. No, bro. Because oh, I was like, I respect no. it, yeah, but, but that's no. not the hometown hero. The first people I was hero. thinking was the, the Travis Truth or Beyonce. You know, even though they'll probably be like Beehive or some type, but... She's not a, none of them are our hero. When you think I'm hoping you think it's hero, you think it's Trey. If it's Trey... That'll be lit. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Don't, I don't care. Bro, I don't care. Put out. Earns ten out of ten critics. because yeah. Trey deserves his flowers. This man has been banned forever. Exactly for no reason. Ten. Over point. something that Sauce Walker did. I want. Like, I want <laughs> it allegedly. Don't get yeah. Okay. Yeah. Allegedly. So, so we what you say? Well, we gonna, all we all gonna say allegedly, <laughs> even though he said a bunch of times he said he did it. But okay. well, clearly, allegedly. Brandon got a beef. Like, well, let me. No, ain't no beef. Ain't no beef. This is funny. Like. But nah, got, we gotta say allegedly. But he's like, every time he gets pissed off, you better have, you better uh, let them boys over have the trade. Tra- tra- I'm like, okay, okay, stop, be quiet, dude. Like, so he right. got Usher's confession, yeah, which Usher's is confession. solid one to be in rotation. Yeah, yeah. Down, he... it'll be a uh, <laughs> yeah, he acting wild. <laughs> it'll be a uh, Sonder, Ooh. which is now he's known as Brent. Brent. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, the of course. First Sonder, I don't know why uh, I didn't say that. I'm on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot the first what was this album? The Let first mixtape or whatever, but mm-hmm. yeah, heavily definitely. Straight heat. Third mm-hmm. will be, yeah, of course, Chris Brown and the go. Okay. I like tell me how tell me how you feel when Heat with Gunner and a couple of other songs on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Right. And it will be fourth is T G T. Ooh, you yeah. t- oh, you're, Tank. you're taking it back. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Like that <laughs> album, yeah. That T G T went hard, yeah. bro. Yeah. But See, we I was going, heavy, I was going with as, heavily as in rotating. Like, like yeah. who do you as hear? As in currently to? rotating, I was yeah. going with like that. Because if I go back, I'm going Joe. I'm bringing up like yeah, Donnell yeah. Jones. Oh, well, and yeah, stuff. Currently, like, I'm, yeah. I'm going back. I'm Joe to see. You know oh, yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I I'll there. pull out Drew Hill and shit. Mm. Like, yeah. This. yeah. <laughs> and you know the last one? We talking about last one. It got to be her, man. Her album, first album, was amazing. Yeah. So, so pretty much her was in everybody's was it list? Yeah. And nothing was the same. Was in everybody's hip hop list. As heavily rotated. So those are the yeah. two that you should got. Definitely, man. So, okay, yeah, yeah, Indigo, yeah, yeah. No, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't. He's like, oh yeah, <laughs> he, wasn't. he said, oh no, 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 no. no, no, no. no. <laughs> if you haven't listened to Mariah the Scientist, I think you need to go do that right now. She's definitely, so, yeah, yeah, um, she's dope. I'll she's check that she's out. definitely hard. Yep. Um, I like her spin on uh, the Justin Timberlake track. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the yeah, Crimea oh, River. Yeah, they, they, they flipped it. Flipped it. They Reversed sampled it. that on oh, the last yeah, track. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to play it when we done because yeah, it's that yeah, hard. She's okay. and she's I'm very beautiful too. If y'all don't never have okay. seen her, no, he's just adding yeah. stuff. <laughs> he's, he's, not he's, he's like, uh, she's very attractive. attractive. He's like, you, you can take down my number so, right now. Exactly. <laughs> right. In, in the clutch, uh, Gmail. Dot, no. <laughs> anyway. This is supposed to be for you. Guy that was. Crushing on me on the on the podcast, I would like to get oh, that to know was, his name. That, that nigga was, was right, fun. Yeah. That email, so it, it was me. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, don't put a star by it, man. Shit, don't. <laughs> okay, last one before yeah. we get off music. Who's your guilty pleasure artist? Guilty pleasure hmm. artist? Mm-hmm. An artist that people probably wouldn't think you oh, yeah. oh, rock out one. to. Definitely. Because mm. a lot of people may they may have a mixed mm-hmm. view about that artist, but you you jam to them. I'll start mm-hmm. since I'm doing it. NBA Youngboy. Oh, NBA okay. Youngboy. Yeah. In the gym, mm-hmm. <laughs> this nigga is spitting. Yeah. And he know how to get you turned. I can't lie. Little NBA Youngboy be hitting. Okay. Very <laughs> yeah, makes, okay. Let me think. I have one for sure. Huh? You have. Yeah, you have. Little Uzi Vert. All my friends are dead. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't really give you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I know I have one. Just give me a second yeah. on that. I'm pretty sure that's probably the only one. Who's yours, Brandon Wild Steve, looking for you? Man. Uh uh-uh, uh, you don't listen to him. Nah, man. I was going to say. No, nah, no, nah, nah, ain't no guilty. The baby dope. The baby is dope. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It depends on now. It depends on if you want. Yeah. <laughs> mm. No, he's canceled. Shit, man. If we're going with rappers. It's mm-hmm. either one, just whoever. Yeah, it don't really matter. I've got to say, man, Justin Bieber, bro. Like, that's not a bad. It's not a bad, bad one. To be honest with yeah, you, yeah, I've always one. even his old like 2012 stuff. I'm like, oh, um, dude, dude, dude got some dope. Justin gold. Bieber been jamming yeah, for a yeah, minute. Been, yeah, so Justin, been I got my bag. California. Oh, yep. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, bro. Yeah, yeah. been eating a little uh, yams when he was little. So, Even that yeah. new the the remix for Wiz Kid, I'm like, mm-hmm. damn. Why? Nah, he actually did it from what I've been hearing. You don't he, need he the huh huh. He did his thing mm-hmm. on his song. Nah, why that's does that not song even vibe so much? I don't know. Just why. go listen to her album, then you understand. Oh why. my gosh, it's like that she song. She carried just, that song. Don't, don't. That song just vibe. Uh, I don't even know what is the words are. Yeah, that's Fugiano. 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 That makes sense. Huh? Yeah, really. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yes. Who's that one cat that Bro, always be talking shit? Another workout, workout to people in the league. He's a workout. Fujiano. Oh go my best. god! Shit, man, I can't think of a guilty one, man. Bro, I'm a trapper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that one that be talking shit to people? Hmm? Uh, oh, Y and J. You talking about him? <laughs> that nigga funny, bro. His. Y and J, that you nigga's come funny. To Coochie Land? Oh, yeah, Coochie guy. Man. Yeah, the Coochie Ooh. Man. My cousin just showed me him like, when bro. he came to town like, last month. He was like, you got to listen to this. Bro, that we did a reaction funny, to that. Bro, and I, oh, bro yeah. we was losing it, bro. That shit. All his like, songs are funny, wait, too. They're funny as no, fuck, funny. Like, <laughs> <"Hum, da-ba-da-ba-da." The laughs> You want to come to Coochie Land? <laughs> Damn. Welcome to the rap game. Remember he called that girl fat? Oh, yeah. Or something. Bro, that nigga, you don't care about getting canceled. You a you fat can't... girl? Yeah. <laughs> like, no, who is yo, this? <laughs> bro, YNJ, that nigga bro, his videos funny, are just bro. stupid. Yeah. That nigga is funny. I gotta, I gotta check it's him like, out. Why my cousin they... randomly played it for me. He was like, "You gotta listen to this." So fucking funny. And he'd be like dragging on the word. Yeah. Like, oh. For no reason. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, somebody take the mic out this nigga head. <laughs> the hell like, is he doing? What the producer be looking like? Why he this shit? Bro, that nigga just be going in. Need me to turn the volume up? Look, you paying me, so. <laughs> yeah. You want to do it again? Time, you can do it again? You paying Bags. me. It's all good. But yeah, nah, that was, that was a deep, this was a deep, heavy, <gasps> music heavy bag. You music know talk. That should, should be the title of this. Music yeah, talk. Pretty much. This was yep. all music related. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, man. That's music is Show the, boys from time to time. Okay, I do got a rap one. Uh, okay, it be might be Trippy Red for me. Mm, oh, that's not a bad okay. one. Trippy Red because he falls under the mumble type yeah. of eh, but yeah, a lot of his tracks are kind of dope. I'm like, yeah, he do got like I some am, he got some bangers. Like, yeah, he got some nice ones. Even the one that we were too, like about three he songs. Actually, like, yeah, he actually flexes sometimes <laughs> his actual right. rap ability though. Like yeah. he has some tracks Stay where right you be like, okay, mm-hmm. okay. And I think he's my brother's favorite rapper too. Oh, Trippy, like, so yeah, Trippy. If he nice. hears this, he gonna probably trip out. My brother listen to him. I get on him all the time. Love the rage. Yeah, shout out to you, Jacob. Right. Yeah. Nah. So. Trippy is nice. So that's that's not a that's not a bad one. Oh, right. Mario Judas. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, Mario Judas. <laughs> his shit was catchy too. Cause at first it I didn't. Is. I, it I was. Didn't know who I didn't is. know. That's the one that did the uh, his own version of uh, um, Playboy Cardi's Play- album. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Trippy Red. Well, no, nah, he did a, oh, his own his. version of Playboy Cardi's album. Oh yeah, too. yeah, no, he did. He's. And then what's the song? I, Mr. Ray. Yeah, that's. Were I'm, you there when we reacted to that? Yeah, he was. He was there for. You were. Yeah, you he were. He kind of like the ch- chunky dude with I the red hair. I'm Mr. Rage. Mm-hmm. 
he was there for the trippy red one. Oh, okay, Park. okay, okay. I don't know if he was there for the the, the, one uh, the parody of it. The Mario <laughs> Judah did. Yeah. It was actually hard. Yeah, because oh, uh, mm-hmm. he's like one of the like like a rock star type vibe. Uh, yeah, he got the vocal. Like I yeah. heard he was the one. It was like yeah. I was. I thought that's how he rapped. Whoa, that was too good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, crazy. Not hard. I mean, you sound like a lot of them. Yeah, yeah like a lot. But it turns out that was people. Playboy Cardi the whole they time. I guess sign, like they need to sign you, Uncle B. Yeah, no, hey, what's the check? Trill Bill Entertainment. Hey, you already <laughs> sign that boy. You know what I'm saying? Playboy. Exactly. What's next for uh? <laughs> what's next for Versus? Like oh, they did it confirm it today. Fat Jones, uh, Ja Rule. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm mad at that. Yeah, I don't know either. I was waiting. They, they confirmed. Y'all know it, y'all should have did the other one. Yeah, <laughs> you know not, who. the name who shall not be named <laughs> right. yeah. mm-hmm. versus Ja Rule. You know Fast. that wasn't gonna happen. I mean, who wins that though? Ooh, Fifty mm. and Ja, who wins? Fat Joe actually do got some. Bang. No, I said Fifty and Ja. Fifty would definitely win. Ja Rule mm. would have to definitely, without a doubt, go into his early. Fifty would get days. petty. That's what but, yeah. would happen. Yeah. So Fifty would hit him with bangers, then he'd put a diss track on there just yep. because he an asshole. Fifty's <laughs> mixtapes alone is was just like. And then, G-Unit. Yep. What? We. Yep. What? Yeah. And then bring out his first two albums. What, what, That's what? That's another album. The first 50 Cent, Get Rich or Die Trying. Mm-hmm. On the cool one, we did our uh, Battle of the Tracks. I, I initially thought we should have did 50 versus Kanye. Yeah. Man. Only because when they dropped that day. I'll never forget when they dropped mm-hmm. on the same day. Yep. Man, I was just like amazed. It was like, Curtis oh versus uh, Graduation. I ain't mm-hmm. know who to listen to, but Graduation. Definitely you know, listen to Graduation, graduation first. 50 was weak. That's when I, what was, I remember. The fifty got that. That's when that, that, that I get money was on there. Oh no, yeah. that was okay. So, that one was okay. Mm, 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 mm. I thought that I was the fall off. Money, I, oh, I, I was I definitely room for fifty cent then, bro. That was the, that was the last solid one, I think. And yeah. then the next one was mm-hmm. just like. Eh. Mm-hmm. Then a few months after that, bro, I heard graduation for the first time. I'm like, oh, bro, man. it's not even close. Yeah, graduation, graduation bro. That's it, it legendary. legendary. I wonder. If you know, boy, that sentimental to me. What yeah. But yeah, hey, I think next time uh, we should uh, come up with the, uh, our list of our favorite th- top ten favorite albums. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that would be you know, and we can just compare the list. It's you know, no right or wrong. Ludacris right. chicken and beer. <laughs> Luda. Uh, so we should come up. Go to cool is automatically in there for me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Game documentaries automatically. Drake is in there. <laughs> Drake, Drake is automatically in there. <laughs> Kendrick know, is in yeah. there. Cole is. In, it's not even <laughs> fair. Kendrick, damn. Like you gotta put your. I, I was about to say, damn 10. is definitely in my top ten. Almost made it up to the top five, but I'm like, nah, good Wait. in that city. Damn we gotta say that for next time, man. Yeah, we gotta yeah, say yeah, that for next time. That's gonna be a hard one. That's gonna be a hard one because it's gonna be like of now versus like all time. Of all, t- it don't matter. All it's your is, list. It's, it's not. You gonna have to think about it. Your be favorite on like Nas and Jay Z. Your and favorite <laughs> album of all time. I'm gonna be all over the place, bro. Dead President Top Sun. ten. Then I Top got 10. Tribe Called Quest stuff. Have, so you gonna have to really, yeah, you know, what I'm saying you may have to because it's, it's like we can go Apple zero so crack. Yeah, I mean, if it's, it's your, your list, your list. Your list. If it's your top ten. It's, it's your list. He's conflicted. Who's your Who's your top Houston artist? Top Houston Trey. Oh, definitely WT, like without a doubt. <laughs> so that boy be, be spitting, man. WG all the way. So. I need a mixtape. Yeah. <laughs> I need a hey, mixtape. Yep. I need you to shoot it. <laughs> I <got> it. <laughs> we all working in here, baby. Uh, I give it to Ro, man. Ro would definitely, mm-hmm. man. Okay. I don't Ro see is nobody. One of the most legendary. I don't legendary. see nobody like. I per- yeah. I just prefer Trey's yeah. like style because I, yeah. I I'll listen to a Trey album before yeah. I listen to Ro personally because mm-hmm. Ro for me when I first started listening it was like a more depressing Tupac yeah oh yeah it was depressing yeah. as fuck and I was like I'm I don't understand it was this. the streets because when we first started like the first people I was listening to because I'm I'm from the north side so I was listening to, like Slim Thug Mike mm-hmm. Jones yeah. right. Mike Jones used to hand Ooh. us mixtapes. So <laughs> literally, <laughs> Mike Jones was my god, bro. So <laughs> Mike, Mike Jones was real. Um, mm-hmm. well, you should listen to Mike. Chameleon was, was hard. Chame- I was about to say Chameleon there, Power Wall. Like these, mm-hmm. are, those are the people I was listening to. Oh, and um, Lil Kiki is like one of my favorites. Oh, Lil Kiki, mm-hmm. definitely, like, bro. I grew up on Roll SUC. Yep, SUC. You know, like a lot of DJ Screw and them. Um, Lil Flip. Hawk, you know, they, Lil, my area. Oh, Lil oh, Flip. Yeah, Lil, 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 Lil Flip. Lil man. Flip was like, my favorite as a kid. Yeah. Who didn't like Lil Flip? Yeah, Everybody was, like, was on Lil. Yeah, this mm-hmm. is the way we bow. And it like the bow. I did too. Oh, oh my Mike Jones. Lil Flip. Like the freestyle was my favorite. Dirty, South. Bro. That Lil Flip was hard. Oh, wow. I was saying it's funny because you know mine is Mike Jones. Yeah. Dang. But I'm trying to tell you, Flip Flip was our 
guy like back then. As Flip. a kid, nah, then you say you like that other uh, man. Big Tilly got I'm chilling with my bro, mm-hmm. and you right, yeah. Whatever. I wasn't cool. That's crazy. Crazy. I, that I still don't know. We were so clear down. on that situation. I yeah. only know because I know people that was there. Mm-hmm. But I mean, there's so many politics behind it. There like definitely. as far as him coming down here. You know, that's another problem for another day. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's so another. But look, think about it: how another man get in your city without even, yeah. you know, what I'm saying. So, mm. it's a lot of politics around that one. <laughs> but I hated how it just. It's very disappointing. I was so upset because that was my like hero. No, Flip was flip, that flip guy, coming there bro. freestyle. You be like, yeah, it's a Flip freestyle. Yeah. Flip Arachi. That yeah. hurt my heart when I heard that story. I was like, no, not. Did not you hear flip. the the uh, not in his hood? The audio tape of Ti freestyling on Flip. Have I heard it? Maybe. I probably have on one. It's though. possible. Bro, I gotta play it for y'all. It was on YouTube. He oh, he he did a freestyle and he and was just... he was dissing flip on a freestyle. Mm. And I was just like I'm like, hold on, this whole co- go kinda hard. I didn't want to jam. <laughs> but it was good. <laughs> it was good, bro. I'm gonna play for y'all on the pot over. At we'll tell you after that. We'll tell you after Yeah, I was about to say yeah, so yeah, after yeah, some yeah, pot type of thing. It's a lot. But now, uh, now this is a good one, man. Uh, hopefully, y'all enjoyed this one. Um, what should what are we gonna talk? Call it again. Uh, music talk. Yeah. Uh, we can come up with something harder than that. Yep. Ah, okay, gotcha. I'm not getting a tingle from that. And then we gonna work. We gonna we check it tomorrow. Out. Music talk. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was tired. I didn't feel like thinking of nothing <laughs> extra. But now, uh, we appreciate y'all for joining, man. We're gonna have to get, bring our top ten albums. Mm-hmm. Comment down below. What are the top five albums that you're listening to right now? Like mm-hmm. right now, not no, right. this not one, your top not five hype. of all time. time. Yeah, in just rotation. five albums that you can say these are the ones you go back to over and over and over and over. That's a lot of albums to go back to. Mm-hmm. You know what right. I'm saying? Because again, like I say personally, I feel like Drake kind of hit every mood yep. I be in. But you know, I always got some other albums to go to. So comment yours down below. Let us know what else y'all want us to talk about, man. Mm-hmm. We appreciate y'all for joining as usual. Much love to y'all. Episode 56 uh, underway, under the belt. Yes, sir. Uh, before we end this, um, definitely want to give a shout out to Ross and his family. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, rest man. in peace to his grandmother, man. Yes, so appreciate we definitely want to send man. prayers to his family uh, and his dad on his dad's side. So, you know, send out those healing hands uh, for their hearts and their minds and their souls uh, during this time. You know appreciate what I'm saying? That, so bro. show the love. You feel Thanks. me? Love y'all. Peace.